وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا Welcome to another episode of Ramadan with Uthman with your brother Uthman ibn Farooq Here in this blessed month of Ramadan we contemplate, we think, we, we do tadabbur we, we ponder upon this beautiful Qur'an. In this month of Ramadan, when we're fasting, when we're leaving up our desires of food and drink and, and desires in the daytime, and we are sitting in the, in, in the daytime reading the Qur'an, standing in the nighttime praying behind the Imam, listening to the Qur'an, we should contemplate on the lessons we should be learning. The Qur'an tells us about the Anbiya, the Prophets of the past, and the lessons we need to learn from them. And from the beautiful stories of the Qur'an is the story of Ibrahim salam. Allahu Akbar. Kana ummatan, he was a nation by himself. Ibrahim salam, that even the Jews and Christians and others, they recognize his stature. We as Muslims know that he was a Muslim that he was somebody who submitted his will to Allah. And we know that he was somebody that was tested by Allah and he always passed those tests. Ibrahim salam's story is so beautiful and has so many lessons that when we contemplate upon it, all our, our, our daily life can be governed by it. First and foremost, his, his tadabbur, his contemplation led him to Tawheed, to believe in the oneness of Allah. He realized that statues and idols can't help, stars and moons cannot be worshipped. It is the creator, who the khaliq of all of those things, the only one that has the haq that we make dua to him. The only one that has the haq that we make ibadah, that we worship him, that we ask him for everything. Only Allah, nobody else has that right. He realized that. And he stood up against society when his society was doing evil, when they were worshipping idols, when they were taking the haqq of Allah to be the only one that is worshipped and they were giving that to an idol, he stood up against them. And he was firm against them. And when he realized that, that they were not going to listen, he moved on the earth and he went to different places and he called them towards the tawheed, towards the oneness of Allah. Ibrahim salam set such a beautiful example for us. His whole life he was moving. He was going from place to place for the sake of Allah. He was giving da'wah towards Allah. And throughout his life he got tested. As we know the story that we've read in the Qur'an, that we've read in Sahih al-Hadith, that we've read throughout the books of, of tarikh, of history, about Ibrahim salam, when he was going to be thrown in the fire. He didn't fear the fire. He didn't fear it. He knew that Allah is with him. He had that belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He continued upon good, upon doing that which is right. And when they catapulted him into the fire, Allah made the fire cool and peaceful upon Ibrahim salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it that the rope that he was tied with burnt, but not a single hair on his body was harmed. As he's mentioned that he said, these are the best days of my life was when I was inside the fire. Allahu Akbar. Allah shows us his power. And the fire sifat, its quality is to burn, but only by the will of Allah, only with the permission of Allah. If we had that tawakkul, if we had that reliance, that yaqeen, that firm belief, that relationship with Allah, then Allah would give us that unseen help. Ibrahim alayhi salam sets such a beautiful example. When he's thrown in that fire and he comes out of that fire, he doesn't just give up. He says, okay, I've done enough. No, he continues his life of moving and calling towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His wife Sara, alayhi salam, beautiful example. When he is in Egypt and the evil king tries to harm her, she asks Allah for protection. And Allah protects her from her dua. She set such a beautiful example for our sisters in Islam, for the women, the Muslim women, to have that connection with Allah and to know that Allah will protect you if you have built that relationship. 
we look at the example of Hajar alayhi salam. Another beautiful example for our women. This woman, she was with a child, a small child. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders Ibrahim alayhi salam to take her and that child to Bakka. What we know today as Mecca. At the time, it was barren. No buildings, no hotels, no freeways, no stores, no food, no water even. But when Ibrahim salam is given this order to take Hajar salam with the little small baby of Ismail salam to this barren land and leave them, he does as he's ordered. And when he walks away, she asks him, is this the order of Allah? He says, yes. She says, then it's enough for us. What a beautiful example of a woman who had her belief in Allah. She didn't tell her husband why and where. When she knew the order of Allah, she knew. And Allah made an example out of her. Till today we, we walk between the Sa'i, remembering her sacrifice. A beautiful example for the entire Muslim household. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين